What's up guys, for today's video I'm going to show you very unique survival axes. Let's see what they're all about. Also you can buy separately this axe handle, but you don't even need that. So let's unbox them. Very nice packaging. First of all, we got here this design with a little clam. Right here is a very very sharp knife, as you can see caution sharper taped. Uh, Obviously, it could be used as bottle opener, but it is a rope cutter, very sharp knife, already been sharpened, beautiful tool. Um, you can hang it onto your backpack, wherever. And obviously, you have here a few wrenches, and it's pretty thick, so it probably could work. So you flip this over like that, then unspin it. And if you bought separately a handle, you can put a handle into here, screw this tight. So in a way, this is a folding axe. Very sharp axe. You want to make sure it is very, very tight because it will be kind of flying around here and there. Okay? Look at that. Very sharp. I like it. So what I'm trying to do with this and build another axe handle real quick. But what I need to do is kind of split it open. It's for the axe, the axe handle. The dirt is so wet out here. But the cool part about this thing, it is easy to set up and put it in and ready to go. Let's open it and try to put it on a regular stick. You see with the regular stick, it won't work that well you would have to have a right size stick which is with this axe is a little bit easier it comes with a power cord bracelet we will untwine it and build this little axe so you see this is a little axe handle it doesn't have all these weird ranges that probably never going to use it but i miss the rope cutter though it doesn't have a rope cutter in here either but you also have a knife as well and it's a really really sharp knife i'm not gonna i'm not gonna take off the tape because i don't wanna cut myself that stick almost too big you wanna have a big enough stick to where you see these edges you see on the corners so i'm gonna use this burst lid untwine everything and get enough power cord for me to build this little axe actually ended up finding a little bit better stick another stick let's see if this one will work grab another stick and just push it all the way down and then you can just spin it tight and you see how these teeth are gonna go right inside of it i don't know how well it's going to hold it because i can see that one side is not holding that much okay Wow, it's actually holding quite well. That's pretty awesome. Well, it does come off a little bit, so you gotta be very careful watching out. Maybe use power cord to tie up that top end. I think this axe is best to be used with this little thing, so that way we can spin it up, it's ready to go. I guess you could cut it out the same way with the stick. But this one, you don't even have to worry about that. You just stick it to and just rope everything around. Just like that. You can even go a couple of times like this to keep all the rope together. Whatever. I'm not the super expert on tying this kind of stuff. But makes sense, right? Okay, and this is what we would get with a homemade handle right here. Pretty awesome, right? Maybe get yourself a better stick or something. And let's try to chop up this really thick stick. Wow, this is sharp. And it has way more weight on it too than the other axe. I didn't tie it well enough so make sure you work on your tying skills if you tie it really really good could be very good hatchet 
and a little lock that you can just build a handle out of any log. It's untied as you can see, so yeah, probably best thing to do is tie it up way, way better. But yeah, really love the axe. Look how sharp it is. Even this log, very dry, dead log. But again, if you don't tie it properly, you'll have problem like that, like I just said. One more thing to mention, this knife is like razor sharp. Check this out, power code 550. Wow, this is insane. Look at that. This is a razor sharp knife. So this is why you want to be careful. Put it back in the holder. What about the actual axe handle? Not as sharp, which is good because you would be getting stuck. So the best thing to do is just use this side here. Barely any weight. Wow. So that way I don't cut myself. I'm going to put this thing back in a holder where it's supposed to be. Uh, and I wish there'll be a little bit more protection than just that little tape. Because this is a scary shot right here at the end. But yeah, there you go. Little hatchet right here that is easy to put it on and take it off. Oh, this one has gotten really, really tight after heating it so much. I want to take it off and take it apart because there's no tape, it's too sharp. Then you just unspin this again and then twist it, twist it. And to keep it in place, you unspin it this way again, so that way it doesn't move around. So if you ask me, that's a pretty amazing tool set here. One of a kind. Switch. Marshmallow or hot dog cooker. Check this out. There's a handle. One more handle here. It spins. The reason why it spins, instead of keep spinning the marshmallow and hot dog on a stick and losing it, or like having a burned marshmallow on one side, you just put it on here and spin it like that. Let me just demonstrate. I got here a marshmallow, put it right through so that way it does not fall out. Anyways, and let's put it over the fire, see what happens. We're gonna film close up of this thing and look at that, it's going really good. We got here really, really hot coals and look at that marshmallow. Is it doing 360? Yeah, it actually does. So that way you don't have any burnt uh, sides and you can just keep going like that. That is so cool. And you really can get it super, super close to it. That is so unique. And look at my hands. All I have to do is just spin it like that. Don't want to go too slow uh, because it might burn on one side. That is pretty funny, don't you guys think? Most advanced marshmallow gorilla right here. This is also kind of satisfying. It is looks like uh, cooking it on one side. Let's see if I can flip it over maybe. Uh, smoke going at, at me. There you go. Gonna cook up the other side and we call it, it's done. Oh yeah, there you go, now it's cooked 360. That is so beautiful. Now let's get away from the flames and wow, look at that. Really crispy on the inside, very, very, whatever you call it, fluffy on the inside. I'm so confused what I just said. Anyways, crispy on the inside, fluffy on the inside. Mmm, wow, that's a perfect marshmallow. Okay, let's try to do this over a regular campfire. Stick it like this and once again just spin it. How cool is that? So unique. Okay, we have here regular bonfire. Let's see how it looks like from this side over the flame. And now we can cook some s'mores. Check this out. Obviously, you don't want to cook it over the flames too much. The coals are much, much better. You see, it's getting crispy on one end right here. So I can just flip it over and I'll stop the other end right here. Definitely don't want to lose it. Oh, it's on fire. <laughs> Never shake it. But also look at it. Even if I shake it, this one is not going to fly away unless you're holding it the other way. Pretty awesome. But definitely never shake 
the marshmallow it will be like a little marshmallow on fire flying somewhere sticking into it like a fireball but there you go we burned it a little bit over the fire this is why I like cooking marshmallow over the <laughs> over the hot coals but nevertheless let's pull it out oh this is hot definitely burnt it but on the inside look at that fluff yeah that's awesome this side here survival multi-tool whoops let's see what this thing is all about definitely packed very well i should get that piece of paper because it tells me what's inside here but you know what you can just figure it out first of all a whistle pretty loud one and spin this fire striker steel and it's replaceable very cool I'm pretty sure this right here you can put on is a blade and also bottle opener and this side right here we can use it as a striker I guess too okay now what this is I see a tube oh nice look at that that's a fishing kit with the with a tiny layer of fresh water hook 2.59 weight was inside of it I'm not gonna undo it because once I undo it it probably will be hard to put it together pretty tedious but what's in here and this side right here is a window breaker because car windows are really hard to break unless you have something really really pointy I had done that experiment before that the car window will just breaks into sand kind of deal and there is a little compass over here try to get some grass I found a little bit of a dry ones and let's try to light it up oh look at that I really love that little mini knife right here a little bit annoying that it's on spins but I'll tell you what it's pretty good stuff oh look at that finally and we got regular grass on fire I used this little teeth the teeth was actually ended up being a little bit better so overall I really like it you have your fishing kit fire starter whistle window breaker but it's kind of don't make sense you if you got stuck you'll have to unspin it then break it kind of a lot of moves out there if you need to get out of the car quickly but overall pretty unique gadget never seen survival multi-tool like that before I like it a lot all weather condition rechargeable battery with full ultra bright LED lights also what's amazing about this you don't need a wire to power up your cell phone all you have to do is put it on top of it so that's very very different to what I have put to the test before let's unbox it very simple packaging comes with one of those Android phones I have an Apple wow that's pretty thick it's a little bit cloudy so we'll see how it's gonna charge up 20,000 mAh very powerful couple USB ports over here let's try to plug it in no problem and what's in here this is a newer uh, cell phone port those are all the Android ports let's see if it's charged at all I was actually looking for it you see there's a four dots and right now three of them blue that tells you how charged it is so how long you should be leaving it on the sun and that way you can check if it's fully charged or not okay now let's figure out how to turn the flashlight on the one button is right here click it two times to turn it on click it one times to change the mood so there's a few seconds right here pretty awesome so obviously very very powerful flashlight but what I really want to know will it charge my cell phone by just placing it on top no way it's charging that's insane this is the best thing ever so you don't even need to bring any kind of wire I guess you should just have it into your backpack whenever you want to charge it up this thing is amazing you don't need extra gear you just place it on a cell phone and look it's charging 
remove it, not charging, place it, charging. How cool is that? You see there is a little charging thing over here. Wow! So what I will do is now leave it on the sun. Right now there is a tree, a spool, and we'll know if it's gonna charge up in an hour or so because it's a little bit cloudy if it gets full bars. Somewhat cloudy, I see a lot of sun opening like right now. We're gonna just leave it right here, make sure there is no shade uh, onto the solar panel. There you go, just place it right on the sun. I think I should just even lay it sideways like that. Looking right at the sun like that, that's how you wanna place it. And there is no shade at all on that solar panel. Okay, we'll be back in about an hour since there's a little bit of clouds. I don't know if it's not enough sun or I don't know if it's too cloudy but for some reason it didn't get charged all the way. Let me know in comments below if these things do recharge pretty good. Probably takes way more than a couple of hours and you need really full sun. Remember I just put to the test Bernie all wood self burning grill out of the log. There is a little bit of charcoal in there but it's a wood charcoal and there is a fire starter. Well guess what? I didn't realize I should have bought it at the same time. There is a way bigger one. Check this out how much bigger this is. So in case you want to cook way longer, this is much much bigger, much much more flames. Will it fit into the Bernie layer grill? Yes, easily. So let's light it up and see if this one burns really good as well. Look at the size difference over the top view. Pretty crazy. Okay, obviously we'll need to take off this plastic. Looks like it's fine. This side here is a fire starter. If I can pull it out, there you go. Nice. Okay. Ah. No, it's still burning. Okay, this way. There you go. And once again, just to remind you, for those people who haven't seen it, this side here unfolds. Again, they sell this thing all separately. You don't have to buy the base and the top. You can just set this thing in a regular grill, charcoal grill, obviously, or set it on the ground and have some kind of folding grill. That would work too. For now, we're just gonna take this off anyways, because we need hot coals to cook over, not the flames most of the time anyways. So, there you go. As you can see, that fire starter or kindling, whatever you call it, is going pretty good. And now this, in the middle of the wood, is burning. This whole thing is hot and getting the coals on fire. You see all those white pieces? Those coals are hot. So, probably gonna give it another 15 minutes and we'll come back to it. I'd say it's been around 15 minutes. You do need to blow it a little bit. To kind of keep it going, you have a little bit more flame. Okay, we'll come back in about another 15 minutes or so. So I think you have 30 minutes slow start, but it is self-burning grill. You could start cooking over that little fire as well. As you can see, everything looks white and really, really hot. So you can now cook over that. Okay, it's been burning for a while, more than an hour now, and all the charcoal is super hot. Oh yeah, it will cook for a while, especially now the actual log is on fire, so it's gonna keep the charcoal really, really hot. And now the actual wood will turn into charcoal as well. Okay, it's almost burned out, still super, super hot. The actual log is on fire and it's so so hot, it's incredible. Do you hear that? So yeah, you can have three or four, ooh this is so hot. You have three or four hours of cook time easily. Okay, it's been hours, it's still very very hot. I can't believe it, but as you can see it's almost done. 